everyone, my name is Nick and welcome to Thiru New. Today we're going to go on a plant shop hop. So we're going to go to a bunch of different plant shops and see what they have to offer and see what's cool. We're going to a few more notable plant shops such as Wedgwood Gardens and Terrain and we're also checking out a few newer places as well. First stop. Too crazy at this place. This lemon lime philodendron is beautiful. It's only $22.99, but I do not have room for that right now, unfortunately. Some beautiful begonias and some coleus hiding back here with a fish net. Begonia Benigo, one of my favorites. I love the pink. Also got some nice red on the back. Next stop is Terrain at Styers, which is a really trendy plant shop and I'm sure they're gonna have a lot of cool things to see. We're at Terrain. Hello everyone, Nick from the future and copyrighted music is keeping you from hearing the original audio of this segment. So here we are at Terrain at Styers. Now Terrain is owned by Urban Outfitters and it's pretty pricey so if we're being real Terrain is a place where you appreciate everything from afar. I don't typically buy anything, it's where you look and you don't buy as you can see from this Euphorbia Amok being a dreadful $75. However, they have very, very good taste at Terrain and it's really nice to see what they are getting, what interesting plants they have, because as you are seeing, they have a lot of really cool things like these Sansevieria Jaboas and really a lot of other interesting plants. So just to walk you guys through some of the plants you're seeing here, these are Apicias and then some Aeschganthus longicaulis, which is also called Black Pagoda Lipstick Plant, and some beautiful Ficus Lyrata, and some Clusia. This is a variegated Clusia that really stopped me in my tracks, as you can see. Now, probably my favorite thing about Terrain are the large aroids that are scattered all over the place, and they're kind of hidden. So this one's a philodendron, I didn't catch the name, and they are for sale, but they are pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie. I think they're like over $400 each. And then here we have a Neon Pothos Totem, which I don't see very often. Over in this area, they have some of their Hoyas and Hoya relatives, so there's a Hoya Carnosa and then a Hoya Retusa. Then over here they had a Hoya pubicalix, a rather large hanging basket, and then some Dachidia, so there was Dachidia ruscifolia and then one Dachidia ovata. Next to their lovely Black Pagoda lipstick plants, they have their Peperomia selection, which was nothing out of the ordinary, however I did really appreciate their large selection of Ripple Peperomias, or Peperomia caparata. They had a lot to choose from and it was a feast for the eyes, as you can see. Here are some lush philodendron burl marks that are rather large. And then I believe this is an Alocasia, the Sarian variety. And then on the other side, if we work our way over, there are some lemon lime philodendron trellises that look incredible. And then some golden pothos totems hanging out next to it. Directly in the center of this section of the store, they have this giant thematophyllum or philodendron relative. I didn't catch the exact name of this one. And then directly next to it, they have this plant that they labeled philodendron wend imbi. However, I am dead sure that is an amadrium zippolanium, so a rather rare aroid. It was huge, it was also $420, but it was incredible to see it that large. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled audio. I do apologize for all the fans, it was rather loud, but no more copyrighted music. This is the main store. It's really beautiful. So many things like that. What's been blowing my mind with is the stuff that we use for two cells, but I already have one of these for 40 bucks, so. Some big Adansonia out there. And then a large Nematophyllum or Philodendron over here. And all of the really large bags are pretty expensive. Mahogany. 
really love these pots. I'm definitely gonna have to get a few. A beautiful place is Altissima. They have a bunch of things that are already like set, so you can just buy them all together. A really beautiful little box. There's some lovely Ishkananthus in there. bunch of citrus trees with fruit on it and they even have Eureka lemons or variegated lemons. How cool is that? Oof. Just got a few pots. Next up we're going to Chad's Ford Greenhouse which is a small family-owned greenhouse and it's like really inexpensive, really cute, but has a lot of cute stuff so we like to check it out. We made it! It's so cute here. How beautiful is this? Wow. Immediately this philodendron is catching my eye. Look how beautiful this is. I think it's just a standard Hartley filled engine, but it's just so mature. Look at this Kalanchoe. You wouldn't even think it's a Kalanchoe, and it's so funny, it's coming out of that tiny little pot. It's all the way up there. There's another room back here. Wow. There's so many things hiding in here. These French daghorns are really cool. I remember them from last time. I might have to get one because they are really beautiful. Some ferns are growing. Some little maiden hairs back there. Some really full bridal veils and wandering Jews. Look at those. Huge euphoria up there. But I am getting the idea that maybe it's this room back here that we should be checking out because there's a lot of stuff hiding back here. But first we just have to appreciate another one of these Kalanchoe trees. I cannot believe it. So beautiful. Just gotta give it a little bit of a feel of it. So lovely. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff hiding back here. I wonder what goodies we're gonna find. We might also find nothing, but hopefully we find something cool. Bunch of Christanthus. Some really nice colors. Look at all those blues over there. I don't know what kind of succulent that is, but they are pretty wonky. Now this is a cool plant. I have no idea if it's an aloe or a bromeliad or what the hell it is, but it's beautiful. There's some of these sausage plants right here too. A beautiful Tenanthi Liberciana, some Sago Palms, and a Philodendron. That's Rojo Congo. They have some pretty crazy orchid cactus. Those. And a really big Norfolk Island pine. I think that's what that is. So many succulents. Panda plant. And one last thing to appreciate is definitely this wild Euphorbia trigona. Look how giant that is. It's gonna break out of the greenhouse soon. For only $6.50, this giant, wonky, toothy aloe can be yours. What an incredible place. We also just need to appreciate this giant Thematophyllum bipinatophytum and Ficus elastica that they have growing back here. Like, seriously, 
They are freaking huge. I cannot believe this. Look at their stock plant of Ripsalis. That is huge. Can't believe that. They also have a few agaves here, which I can appreciate from afar, but they are really beautiful. Look who I found! You remind me of my muffin! Hi, sweets! Oh my goodness. It's the best when places have cats just in their little plant nooks. Hi, sweet! Bye, sweets. I'll see you next time. Oh my goodness. How am I gonna leave him? All right, I'm actually leaving now. Bye, sweets. I'll see you next time. Alrighty, I'm kind of limited on space, so I'm not gonna buy anything today, but I'll be back. Wish I could take that cat home with me, though. Okay, next stop is Wedgwood Gardens, which is another pretty popular plant stop, so hopefully they have some pretty cool stuff. Look at all these beautiful plants. Song of India Dracaena, this is beautiful. Pylea Depressa, I love how it's just a full curtain. All right, now we are headed to Gardener's Landscape Nursery and we've never been there before, so we're not quite sure what to expect. So hopefully they have some cool plants. We made it. Let's see what they have. So good. Drusana kiwi. Some monsteras. Only $14.99. Calafia lancifolia. Rattlesnake plant. Peace lily. Ficus repens. Baby tears. Brazil. 
Maranta. Ooh, they even have the lemon Maranta. Only four ninety nine. Pathos. Some more pillows. Stromanthes. Pretty good deal. Only nine dollars. Wow! 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 It's a large Adams Family. Holy crap, I don't think I've ever seen an alpinia this big before. They call it variegated shell ginger, I think. And then they even have some nice whale fins over here. I don't think these are for sale, but they look really good. Sort of the lush little pond section they have back here. Beautiful coffee plants. Some pink eggs. Pylea catarine. Little pepperomia metallicas. Dykembachia. A bunch of little plants. Pepperomia rubella. All right, I just walked in the door from our plant shop hop, and good thing because the sky is opening up all hell on us, so perfect timing. But I went to so many wonderful plant shops, I saw so many cool plants, but believe it or not, I actually bought zero plants. So when it comes to plant shopping, your boy is a picky son of a bitch when it comes to this stuff. Quite frankly, I am the buyer at a plant shop, so I do have many of these plants at my fingertips already, so I'm not gonna go somewhere else to buy it when I can buy it at a discount at the place that I work, so that understood. I just really love to go see what everyone else has to offer. It's really great to see what other plants other buyers are buying for their stores. It's just very eye-opening to see what other things are out there, really. So thank you guys so much for coming along. It was so much fun, and I hope you guys had a good time. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram at Philly Foliage, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Have a great day.